Hi friends, I have another question for you. Does God elect people for heaven or hell? Does he predestinate people to be saved and to be lost? Because God knows everything from the very beginning. So does he, he already have his list and already marked down whether you're going to be saved or lost. You have nothing to do with it. You have no free choice. You have no way of changing. So you might as well just live how you're going to live because you're either going to be saved or you're going to be lost. You have no control over it. Is that what the Bible says? Turn with me to the book of Romans because we want to look into this because there are a lot of a lot of people who believe that because God knows everything that he's already set in stone, set into motion, whether you're going to be saved or lost. So no matter what you do, you continue to slide down this path. You're going to just go that way and you, you can't change. But the Bible doesn't say that. Romans chapter 8 and verse 20, a very familiar text, Romans 8 and 28. The Bible says here, Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, the limb that love God, and to them who are the called according to his purpose. Those who are called to his purpose are loved by the Lord. And they, when they do things, these things work together for good. Because, you know, we look at the wickedness and the badness that happens in our life. It doesn't matter whether you're a saint or you're the most ridiculous sinning rebel in the world, bad things are going to happen to good people. And good things happen to bad people. These type of things happen in life. But God is clearly saying here that those who love the Lord, those who are his called, these things work together for good. And why is that? Well, in verse 29, it says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did that predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestine, them he also, he did predestinate, he also called. And to whom he called, those he called, them he also justified, and them, those who he justified, he also glorified. And so the Bible is saying an incredible thing that in verse 31, he, uh, what shall we then say to these things? The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? God is working for our salvation. That's what this text is saying. He's working for our salvation. But it also gives a few other things in this text that lets us know that God knows the beginning from the end. You know, when we look at a ruler, you can see when it starts with the, with the number one and also when it ends with the number 12. From one to 12, you can see the beginning and the end. That's just like a time, time in the universe that God can see from the beginning to the end. And so God can interact with the beginning and the end, just like we can interact with the ruler at the beginning and the end of a ruler. Since God can see from the beginning everything that has happened to the end at the same time, God is able to foreknow whether you or I are going to make a choice to follow him or if we're going to make that choice to follow Satan. Whatever he foreknew, he predestinated. Not that he called, caused it to happen, but because he knew he is able to know what's going to happen in the future. So when he has predestined those to be called, those who are called, they make that choice. God gives us the free will to make the choice. Let me give you another example. You know, when you have uh, a person that, that is a thief, and you say, if that person continues to do thievery and robbery, they're going to go to jail. So you may call that a prediction or whatever you want to call, but what you're saying for the future, that if they continue with this behavior, they're going to go to jail. Are you causing them to go to jail because they are doing this behavior? Are you causing them to do this behavior? No, you're not. But because you see what's happening and you know what the end result's going to be, you can say, if you continue to do that, you're going to go to jail. Same thing with God. God knows the beginning from the end. He knows that if you continue on this path, you're going to be lost. Or if you continue on this path, you're going to be saved. And so because he foreknows, he does not cause. He allows us to make that free choice. And that's what's so good about God. He's giving everyone the opportunity. God loves everyone. He doesn't want anyone to be lost. We, we, we know the text of John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, not just the righteous, but he loved the wicked so much that he gave his only begotten son that 
whosoever believeth. And that's where the choice comes in, is that when we make that choice to believe in Christ and to believe in him as our Savior and our Lord, and as we believe in Christ as our Savior and Lord, we also allow him to be, we believe in him as our Savior, we also allow him to be our Lord. When we make that choice, that is when we gain the rewards of eternal life. That's when we have made that choice to move from darkness into light, from death into life. And so God is not causing us to make the choice. He's giving us the choice. And because he knows the beginning from the end, he's able to move through time to the end of time and know who's making that choice. He can also say who is his called and who is elect and make those promises to his called and to his elect. So friends, God does not predestine or cause anyone to be saved or to lost. He gives us that free choice to choose to be saved or to be lost. So the question is not whether God is going to cause anything. The question is, are you going to choose to be saved? Are you going to choose to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Your Savior where whose shed blood covers your sins and whose Lord whom you're going to obey and to follow. You must have both aspects. But the question is, are you going to choose him today? God wants you to choose him. Satan wants you to think that you're lost. Satan wants you to think that God has predestined you to be lost. But that is a lie from the pits of hell. That Satan has, Satan has put upon this world and those who, who think that God is a malicious God who causes people to be lost and cause other people to be saved and nobody can change. God gives us all free will. God gave his only begotten son that you and I can be saved. And so if, you, if someone is a wicked sinner, they have the same opportunity to be saved as a righteous person. They just have to make the choice to make him their savior and to put away those wicked things, to repent of those things and to follow him as Lord. So again, my question to you, have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior today? Have you decided that you're going to put away those things of the world? Yes, yes, I understand that there's some good things that happen in the world. And, 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 and it doesn't mean that you have to be strange or weird, but that you follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, that you accept his way and not the world's way of doing things and to think about things and to, to live your life, living the life of Christ, allowing Christ to live within you. Make your calling and election sure today to follow Jesus. May God bless you.